today we have a what did you think about the products one month later after receiving them this is a like a part two of the video of my ipsy bag from december so i'm gonna let you guys know what i felt after trying these products for a month and um let's get started so first as in that video i want to mention the pacifica natural minerals power of power of color power of love and this is the lipstick that i got let me give you guys a swatch that's what it looks like this is the lipstick as you can see i do still have a lot of product after a month of having it um i will not say that i use this the whole month um but i did use it for some time i am using it today so and i did say in that video that it did remind me as a whirl and i honestly still think that it looks a lot like whirl i don't have mine right now close to me so that i could swatch them side by side but i'm pretty sure it looks a lot like whirl overall i thought it was a good lipstick <clears throat> bear with my voice i'm still getting through the sickness Overall, I still think it is a good lipstick. It, it is a vegan lipstick, which means they are made from natural materials and ingredients. And I think it's a nice, uh, it's a nice uh, kind of like idea. I don't know. Um, I love lipsticks. And I do see that it is pretty creamy, as you can tell. It is very sheer, so if you would want like a heavier pigmentation to like what i have you'd have to use a couple of swatches of it because it is very sheer but overall it is a color that i think would be nice something that i would throw in my bag um because i did not spend a lot on it so i could throw it in my bag and use whenever i need to retouch or or that any of my other lipsticks just kind of like washed away this is something i would reach to like I said, the shade was really nice. I really, really love it. And let's move on. So next we're going to talk about the Formula X nail color. And I got in the shade Revved Up. As you can see, my ring finger, this is the shade of Revved Up. I recently went and got my nails redone just because I wanted to wear this color. And it is very like shimmery, rose gold. I really really like it I am NOT a person at first I was not thrilled for nail polish because I'm not a person that does her nails that often but I don't know it just really intrigued me and I wanted to keep them because it looks so cute so I was like yes I'm keeping you so I decided to keep them sometimes I do give things out to my sisters in laws or to my mom when I do get products that are not really my type of product so i decided to keep this one because it is my first formula x nail polish and i just thought it was so cute it's so small and i actually want to get my my toes done the same color because i really really like the shade so moving on i have the bugacci's um tool this is a concealer brush it is kind of dirty right now because i have using been using the heck out of this brush I really like it. I feel it's really sturdy. It gives you such precise holdment of the brush. The size of it just helps you really blend out and get right deep into those little creases under your eyes so you can blend out that concealer. I mainly use this brush to apply my concealer when it comes like in pots or anything like that. And then I blend it out with my beauty blender or with my finger. So yes but i do really love this the products that i just mentioned right now are definitely keeps i'm gonna keep those and these two are products that i'm not so excited about and i'm actually gonna give them away to my family um so first we're gonna talk about the jersey shore spa anti-aging lip and hand polish um this is like a scrub for your lips and your hands as you can tell it looks pretty like pretty like empty but it really didn't have that much product when I opened this I thought it would be full or close to full usually they're like up to here but it wasn't even up to here it was like up to here so I have used a little bit of it um, 
I like that it's cruelty free but I'm just not so convinced over it it doesn't buy me for what it states it does um, I have not been using it in my hands I've only used it as a scrub for my lips um, I have noticed that my lips have been a little bit smoother prior to lip application like lipstick application or or liquid lips but it's not something that thrills me that much so I'm gonna have to give this product a no I'm not really a fan of things like this and I'm gonna give that one away and I'm also gonna give this one away this one is the Marc Anthony hydrating oil coconut oil and shea butter this is a weekly deep treatment um, I just noticed that every time I would use it my hair was so dry and I decided not to use it so I'm gonna give this to my mom because she's been chemically treating her hair a lot lately and I think she'll like the coconutty scent as well I'm not a fan of coconut stuff so that's another thing that would drive me away from it because I don't really like go for coconutty things so well that is everything for what do I think of my ipsy bag one month later thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys like these type of videos um I will let you guys know as soon as I get my ipsy bag I'll do my January Ipsy bag. Um, hopefully it's a great one. And as soon as I get also my Play with Sephora uh, monthly subscription box, I'm going to do a video on that too. So stay tuned for those videos. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.